गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव डन द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ द चैप्टर फोटोशॉप इन विच वी हैव सीन द वर्क ऑफ डिफरेंट टूल्स विच वी व यूजिंग फॉर द फॉर्मेटिंग ऑफ अ इमेज सो नाउ वी हैव गॉट द न्यू चैप्टर introduction to flash so in this chapter the topics which are going to be covered are flash starting flash how we will start the flash and a little introduction about flash how will you create a new flash file in this what were the components of the flash window then set up a new flash stage layers on which we are working animation in flash how the animation takes place in flash adding frames creating frame by frame animation okay creating twin and saving the flash file these all topics will be covered in this chapters okay in this chapter not the chapters okay by mistake it is spoken so now without wasting time we are coming to the topic flash what happens in this beta in this you will see that flash is a multimedia software specially designed for creating vector graphics okay remember this vector graphics animations games web page components so this is a multimedia software which is used to design create the graphics animation games and web page components flash is also used for making a video over the internet so this is also a good feature in flash in flash you can insert an image and add animation to that image when you run that function it is playing a movie like as you have seen many other softwares are also coming in which you are just inserting your picture and adjusting them framing them and when you play that picture it looks like they are playing a movie the flash player plugin allow users to view flash in their browsers nearly all current web browsers support flash means now the browsers which are coming the current latest one they are also supporting the flash so this is a small introduction of flash now we are coming on a next topic features of flash what are the features of flash first one create illustration and other artwork okay it creates a illustration means example and other artwork flash has many drawing tools that allow you to create vector graphics okay now i am going to tell you what is a vector graphic see what are vector graphic vector graphic actually are the computer graphic images that are defined in terms of points on cartesian plane which are connected by lines and curves to form a polygon and other shapes okay these are vector graphics okay as you remember it okay here the dots are given or the lines are given and you are joining them and creating a figure okay so that is your vector graphic are composed of lines curves and polygons so it is given over here also conversely if you see bitmaps are made up of pixels the main benefit of using vector graphic in flash object or project is that they are smaller in size and these graphics can downloaded at a very fast speed over the internet okay so if you create a graphic it will be easily and fastly downloaded from the internet so that's why 
this is the feature of flash which the people were using now next work with symbols and instances symbol are objects in flash that you can reuse okay symbols are the objects in flash you can draw erase add or remove instances on one layer without affecting another layer as you can see the layers were there in photoshop also if you are working on first photo that shows the first layer then you come to the second photo it starts a second layer then you come to the third layer it starts a third layer okay if you do any changes in the first layer that does not affect the second or third layer okay so that's why it is said that symbols are objects in flash that we can reuse these objects can be graphics buttons movie clips sounds and videos these we can be reuse copies of symbols that are used in flash movie is called instances okay so the copies of symbols which are used in a flash are called instances now create animation there are many ways to animate in flash you can create animation by using a frame by frame or motion twin method so two methods are there motion twin or you can create with frame by frame so here you have seen you can draw erase add remove instances one layer without affecting the another layer you can also hide layer and lock layers you can also use layers for organization in a more complex flash discount and they were very helpful in working with multiple animations okay so remember this thing that you can also use the layers for organization in a more complex flash document and they were very helpful in working with multiple animations now next topic is okay there are some parts also released there are two main types of flash files you can use to create a flash movies first one is dot fla and second one is action script dot as action script files flash documents are the base file type you use to create a flash movies flash organized with application smart tech developed by jonathan gay jonathan gay gay was the co-founder of future wave software in 1993 to so presently flash developed and disturbed by adobe and popularly known as adobe flash so these update your knowledge are also important as regarding your examinations okay so tell this you have heard about flash now how will you start flash so starting the flash the process is click on a start button to open a start menu a list of installed apps appears on the screen yes then scroll down and click on add a flash professional cc flash professional cc opens with a welcome screen in front of you i think i don't have flash cc that's why it is not opening i will hope if i find out from somewhere i will show you now creating a new flash file flash files are called documents or movies flash file are called documents or movies you can create a new document in flash to design artwork or create an animation okay so remember this one flash file also called documents or movies and you can create new document in flash design artwork or create animation so first what do you do click on file then the file menu appears click on new you can also press control n as a shortcut from the keyboard 
you can also press Ctrl N as shortcut keys from the keyboard. The new document dialog box appears. Then next click on the document type you want to create. If example you will take we have selected action script 3.0 from here the arrow. Okay. So a description of each type appears in this area. In this box you can see here. So click on OK. A blank document appears in the flash. So if you see over here, you will see that flash is used for making advertisement and games. Mostly you have seen that it is an animated part because it's a multimedia program. So it is used for making advertisement and games. And there are various websites available where flash games are available free to play online. So now some of the site's name is given over here www.frivy.com www.novelgames.com and www.flashgame.net These are the website where you can get online games to play made on flash. Now let's see what are the components of flash given in this. So see here the window comes the flash program window has a number of components with which you must familiarize yourself before working with graphic and movies okay so let's see what are the things in this window so as usual first menu bar then title bar under that file name tab and current scene see here it is given current scene okay the arrow symbolizes then here properties tab workplace menu workspace menu sorry the library tab we will get all the things the library tools panel different tools are provided over here stage where you will work frame by framework frame number is given layers different layers you will see over here timeline again and timeline button okay these all things are over here let's see what are these so next title bar as usual the same definition title bar displays the name of the open file and allow you to open close and minimize flash window okay next one is menu bar menu bar is a special toolbar that displays the flash menu names okay so menu was always it's a special toolbar that displays the menus of different windows also so in flash also file name tab this tab shows the name of the current file on which you are working if two or more files are open you can switch from one file to the other by clicking a tab okay if you have opened more than one file then what you can do you can switch from one file to the other tools panel it has the basic tools for creating and working with vector graphics okay so for vector graphic you are having the tools panel current scene it shows the name of the scene on which you are currently working okay working on some scene so it will show the name of the scene on which we are working now we comes to the stage area in this area is also known as flash editor a movie over graphic displays the white one you have seen just now stage work area the area surrounding the stage is called work area anything placed on this area does not appear in the movie that means the stage the center you have seen which okay see the stage the white portion it is surrounded by the work area okay so anything placed on this area does not appear in the movie now library tab it is used to organize and select symbols to add to your movie whatever symbols are there it will select and add to a movie this is the work of the library tab now property tab it is used to view and edit 
properties of the current object okay whatever the properties were there it will show the current objects properties workspace menu it allowed you to switch between workspaces and create a new ones okay, when you create a new one it will allow you to switch from workspace to new okay timeline it is used to design the timing for the sequence of the movies in this part frame are highlighted that you can choose for playing the movie whatever frame you choose for the movie it will be selected okay and the sequence of the movies will be done with the help of timeline it will show on the timeline layer it enable you to keep pieces of artwork separate and combine them to form a merged image okay layers enable us to keep piece of artwork separate and combine them to form a merged image such as company logo that includes a layer of text and another layer with a graphic shape means here is a logo in which a text is written in this box so we will have a this layer different and this layer different this layer will consist of text and this uh, uh, if there is a graphic then another layer will have a graphic okay so the different layers are there and we are working if you select the layer second layer you will work on second if you select fourth layer then you work on fourth layer timeline button scattered around the timeline are the buttons for controlling frames layers and movies these are used to control the frames movies layers now frame what is frame the length of time in a flash movie are divided into frames they enable you to control what appears in animation sequence and which sounds play okay so frame by frame work is there okay so the movie is divided into frames you see the movie so you don't think that oh it is continuing continuously it is moving but now there are frames which are merged together and they have played like this that you don't see the frames okay so it's all done by the flash now frame number frame appear in a chronological order in the timeline and each frame has a number so the sequence of the number is selected and kept okay so this is frame number so i hope you have all got the information about the window means the components of the flash window now understanding the flash timeline okay see like photoshop you have done in this also you have to remember all the things and concentrate on this okay because now the chapters are totally different from the previous classes you have to keep your mindset for these it's not like that you have read and done the question answers if you want to learn something then of course you have to focus on this the flash timeline contains the frames layers and scene that make up a movie okay so what are the three things you have seen first the frame second the layer and third the scene that make up a movie you can use the timeline to organize and control your movies layers are representation of depth in space while frames are representation of time okay so these layers are the depth presentation space but frames are the representation of time and frames can be used for building animation over time okay now see the current space it is displaying the name of the scene on which you are currently working now layers see here layers are made layers to organize artwork animation sound interactive elements layers enable you to keep layers enable you to keep pieces of artwork separate and combine and them to form a merged image means the artwork are separate and it combines them to form a merged image such as a company logo that includes a layer of text and the layer of graphic shape okay now on timeline button here you can see the timeline button scattered around the timeline are buttons for controlling frames layers and movies 
Now see here what the frames. Length of time in a flash movie are divided into frames. Okay, the length of the movie is divided into frames and they enable you to control what appears in animation sequences and which sounds play so frames appear in a chronological order in the timeline and each frame has a number as already we have seen okay the frame numbers now you will see the playhead while trimming or merging the songs also we see these playheads so playhead also called the current frame indicator marks the current frame displayed on the stage okay see these while you are trimming some video or cutting or adding or merging you will see these till where you want you just drag that so playhead here it is given okay these are the playheads above and bottom and they as a frame indicator marks the current frame displayed on the stage now layers and layer button you can have numerous layer in a single frame okay so layers can be many in a frame okay inside a frame there can be different layers and a single layer have their own single work newer layers are listed first whatever the new layer comes it will get on the first and the old one will come below that okay understanding the drawing toolbar okay so these are the toolbar which you have to understood while using it in a program so remember these also okay if you remember the name of these then you will be able to find it easily now arrow it is used to select and move items on the stage it is used to select and move items on the stage now sub select okay below that see again an arrow in a white sub select this displays edit points that you can adjust to change line shape free transform tool used to transform graphic objects okay it is used to transform free transform means from anywhere you can change the size length height of a image 3D rotation, see this sign, 3D rotation, used to rotate a symbol in 3D space. It shares a space with the 3D translation tool. Now lasso tool, like in Photoshop, here you also you have a lasso tool, which is used to select irregularly shaped objects on the stage and it shares a space with polygon and magic band tools. Okay. So first they select the irregular shaped objects and then they share the space with polygon or magic wand tool. Next you will say the pen tool used to draw precise curves and it share space with tools to modify your busier curves. Okay. So it will help you to draw the curves and also share your space with modify the bezier curves okay text used to draw text boxes to enter the text and edit the text line used to draw straight lines a rectangle used to draw square and rectangular shapes this tool shares space with a rounded rectangle tool okay here you can see rounded rectangle tool now oval shape polystar oval used to draw oval shapes circle shapes this tool shares a space with oval primitive tool next polystar use it to draw polygon shapes for drawing polygon shapes you will use polystar pencil used to draw free form lines okay you can use pencil brush you will use to fill color much like paint brush bone used to create objects with inverse kinematics it shares space with blind tool paint bucket is used to fill color and ink bottle gave is used to add strokes okay now dropper used to copy the attributes of one object to another like eyedropper we are using 
it choose the color of the face where we can use that to other place next eraser already know eraser used to erase the parts of graphic object width use it to embellish a stroke by adding widths of varying thickness hand used to improve your view the objects on the stage in the work area and zoom to magnify your view or zoom out for better look now come to color tools so here is stroke colors there which is used to select the color from lines and shape outlines likewise fill color is there use it to select for a color fills when you fill the color then you will use fill color swap colors are change your fill color to your stroke color and vice versa means opposite and last one is black and white reset your colors to black and white strokes so this area of the tools panel displays option when each tool is activated when your all tools are activated then this area will be displayed so by default it appears on the far right side of the program window but you can even drag it to the far left of the window so remember that by default it appears to the far right side of the program window okay now this much we have seen understanding the flash time current scene layers timeline frames frame number these all you have seen so revise this also you have understood the drawing toolbar also now set up a new flash stage for that what you have to do when you first open a new document in flash it is good idea to set up your stage size format rate and background color stage is the on the screen area where you can view the contents of a frame and draw graphic objects okay so this is the area where you can draw the graphic object like as it is drawn so changing the frame rate what happen the documents properties appear below the published setting if properties tab is not already open then open it by clicking window and then properties so click the number of fps means frame per second which is going to be used and type new frame rate frame per second the example shows frame rate is 24 now click on the edit properties setting document setting dialog box appears select the measuring unit pixels from unit list box type the height width and dimension like as shown here in the picture your flash movie and click okay so your flash movie is now set to your desired dimension okay so as you can see the steps are also very important if you are going with the steps you don't have any problem okay so see here you have set the frame per second to so say have set 24 after that you have clicked on edit properties and in that document setting then your measuring unit is pixels from the unit list box and type the height width of the dimension like here it is doing okay in this box and then you can press okay and your flash movie is now set to your desired dimension so in this video i am leaving till here in the next class we will be discussing about layers till then i want you to revise what i have said till now okay because if you will not revise it not read it then you will not get the concepts okay so it is must to revise to know because this is the starting point if you revise from here if it is set in your mind the steps the function or the things what you call them okay like here if i ask or someone ask you about you know that this is the stays this is the work area this is the frame where the frame number comes these all things you must know okay so it will be beneficial for you like in photoshop i have told you you know that this is the healing tool this is the brush tool what is the use of this likewise this is the animation part okay so i hope you will practice it read it when we will meet in the next class we will be discussing the other topics okay so till then goodbye take care okay 
and read the things properly after that we are having labor use of layers adding and deleting layers how will you delete and add layers okay working with layers renaming naming these all things we will be saying in this chapter okay okay once again thank you all of you